The interesting part about this project is I don't have a plan. I really don't. They basically just said, go crazy. And I have every intention of doing so. It's gonna be mostly aerosol, mostly spray paint, um, because that gets the job done a little bit quicker. And then we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> I'm excited about it. This is hands down the biggest project I've ever done in my life. You can see it behind me, but I don't think people realize what a big job this might be. And I want to not only make the owners of PAVE proud, I want to make Sioux Falls proud. I want this to be something where people can say, oh my God, have you seen this? Let's go, you know, let's go get a couple of pictures of this. Let's have a cocktail. Let's enjoy the patio. I mean, I'm, I haven't been this excited in a long time. There's a ton of art going on right now in Sioux Falls. We're kind of on the cusp of something big, it feels like. Especially downtown, there's a, a very big concentration of artwork in every form. I mean, there's amazing food, there's amazing art, there's insanely cool bike trails that go literally around the entire city. Uh, sculpture Walk is a big one. The fact that on any given first Friday, there are 10 to 15 art openings, whether they be group shows or solo events. I think that's a really interesting thing, and that kind of puts us on the cusp of becoming a major metropolitan area because that just breeds culture. It breeds business. It breeds everything you want in the central hub of a city. The fact that visitors from out of town and out of state are starting to realize that, it's just a really nice thing to see. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out, and I think everybody involved is as well. So for certain, it's the most unique surface that I've ever painted on. It's like a mini Sistine Chapel painting the roof. Those little sections of what I initially started with that kind of shine through what's there now, I want people who come into the bar to be able to go close up to it and see something that they've never seen before in their life. You know, five years down the road, I want the owners to be like, oh my God, I never noticed that before. Look at this detail, like he hit a name here, or he hit a time of day or a song lyric here, or something like that. If you get close and you look at those lines, you will see that everything, like I got obsessive with it. It was like disgusting how much time I spent on a lot of those things because I wanted this to hold up for as long as it possibly could. I wanted people to be wowed by it, you know, 10 years down the road. I don't know, it's just a really satisfying thing. I found myself already missing it before I was done with it. I had really poured myself into this project. I really wanted to make the people who hired me proud and make Sioux Falls proud. I'm incredibly happy to call Sioux Falls home base now. I have a wife, I have a house. I have a, a career in art. Like that's, these are three things that I never thought I'd be able to say about myself. And it's all because of where I live, the opportunities that I've been afforded. It's a very big deal. And I just want to let everybody know that I am eternally grateful for everything.